After a little summer break from big events, the GMA Wireless Dome is jumping right back into action full swing next weekend with a huge concert and SU football just a few weeks after that. So joining us now, Dome Managing Director, you know him, Pete Salah. Pete, good to see you again. Thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Joe. Um, so the Dome's already seen some huge upgrades over the past uh, few years. The roof, obviously, AC, which is uh, so clutch. But uh, you're not stopping. What do you think is the next thing people actually see, I'm guessing, maybe by football season? I think inside the Dome, they'll probably see that we installed uh, all new railings all the way around the, the, uh, the first row, widened that row for the uh, to be compliant with the new seating, um, did some um, upgrades to the ADA seating platforms on the south side of the building, mm -hmm changed the ramps, um, did a huge uh, conversion of a storage space down on the first level that the premium basketball seat holders used to experience um, before and during and after the game. And um, now we've made that into a, an area for football, for both lacrosse as well. And mm. it's really, really going to um, give us that premium experience that we see people have at other venues. And the biggest thing people will see when they come in that we started on Myron Victory Court, oh. tying the dome and arch together. Mm -hmm. um, that is now permanently closed at Iowa Way between the dome and arch. Okay. Um, we closed all football season, closed for the concert. Um, you know, we, uh, we, we've really moved quite fast on that project. Right now we're in the utility process of that job. Okay. We're going to see it when you get there. Okay. Um, just quick update. Um, how's 5G coming along? It's coming along. You okay. know, Verizon's now installing servers, and there's a lot moving, a lot happening. There. Okay, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. Uh, latest, because you mentioned uh, railings and seating and things like that, I know that is an incredibly complex, probably more than we can get into in our five minutes here, but um, how is the seating? When will we start kind of moving things around there? Well, the actual seating itself won't be removed and installed until um, the summer of 24. Okay. Everything needs to be in place for you know the football season in 24. Mm -hmm. so i know that legends has reached out to the season ticket holders they have a process they're going to go through as part of that reseating so that's all going to be handled through our ticketing partner in the athletic department because it's going to change the seating map i don't know if significantly is the right word but it's going to change the seating map isn't it right with the aisles going to the true four feet that they have to be for code and bringing the whole building up to code compliance that we will lose a minimum of two seats, probably three seats in some areas per row. Okay. So um, again, there has to be a complete reseating of the whole venue. We're actually looking at how the building's numbered, um, you know, how the aisles lay out, how mm -hmm. the section lays out. Um, so we're really taking a hard look at the whole, whole, whole building. Um, I don't know if people will really need their seats for Def Leppard, Motley Crue, and Alice Cooper. I mean, three for one there. It's coming up that first weekend in August. Um, incredible show, and I know it's a little bit different. Chili Peppers was a little bit different than usual. You like being able to broaden and kind of stretch what the Dome can do. I'm sure it's great when you go out to promoters to show them their artists should come to town. Yeah, you know, this is kind of a, this is a, a one-off for sure. Where ticket sales are, are, have really picked up. I mean, they have a reputation of the week before the show and the week of the show, there's a lot of moving, you know, tickets start to move. Um, and we saw that. We're, we're gonna be in that range where we were with Red Hot Chili Peppers, about the same attendance, which that that fits our building very, very well. Mm. The thing that is unique about this is they will be in the building um, Thursday and Friday. We'll close the building, close the building all the employees, and the band is gonna rehearse for two days. Oh. Um, so they'll be in there actually going through and building the show. Um, it's, it's the first time we've done that in a while. We've built stages to, you know, prepare tours for their, a, a stadium tour. They've used our building because it is, you know, you don't have to deal with the elements. Right. Um, we've done that before under the radar, but this is the first time we've done something like that. And, and you said tickets are still left. Good, good seats, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. There, there's definitely some good tickets left. Tickets are starting to move. It's, we've seen a an uptick we should be right about that 25 number like we were for um red hot chili peppers we're happy with ticket sales right now 30 seconds left you got you got something in the hopper anything left this this year concert wise you're always working it <laughs> i'm trying to book something <laughs> that first week in october but boy okay it's tough Okay, yeah, we'll see. Really we'll stay tuned. We'll stay tuned for that. We'll stay tuned. Pete, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. You be good. Thanks, Jeff.